going on guys? This is Andy at Louisiana Firearms. Uh, today we're in front of the store uh, right now. Um, this video is coming out. We're going to be at 100K subscribers in the next like day or two. So by the time this comes out, we'll be hitting it. So uh, Milestone didn't expect to reach so fast. You know, I did see it coming, but uh, we've been started for about four months now. So surprise me, surprise all of us here. So yeah, super excited about it. Uh, so what we wanted to do today, we're at the store, the headquarters, uh, AKA my home, cause I spend more time here than I do at my actual house. So we're gonna do a brief run through the store, show you how it works and uh, show you what we're working with really. So super excited to get y'all to take a look in here. So let's go. All right, so here's the digs. This is what we're working with. Um, you know, general retail sp space right here. This is the floor. This is where all the salesmen come out and try their hardest to sell some guns, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, but I mean, we have a good mix of inventory, you know, um, not your traditional gun store, not a lot of bolt actions and shotguns, which we do carry. Um, but I mean, you look on the left side of the wall, it is all AR-15s. Uh, how the business really started was AR-15 sales, you know, custom Glocks, custom ARs. That, that's how Boss Man did it. You know, he had a solo office appointment only and he'd do custom builds for uh, his customers coming in uh, over the years business grew and uh, he needed some help and slowly and slowly uh, we just expanded and, and didn't really see the growth coming so fast just like how youtube is going so uh very happy about it you know uh, each salesman here has a pretty big uh, responsibility to hold and uh, we're pretty well trained on how to build guns, you know, um, how to sell them. I'd like to say we're pretty knowledgeable on how most of them work and can get pretty good input and advice to our customers which come into the store. And as you can see, we have a big selection of handguns I and mean, we got a bunch of Glocks which sell a lot, uh, a bunch of SIGs that sell a lot. That's our main two handgun categories right now. Uh, but we sell all the big main name brands. We got Walther, HK, Canik, sell a lot of Canik, CZ, Springfield, Smith & Wesson. Uh, I mean, there's so many different ones. Uh, so. Yep, uh, here's all our SIGs right here, and <laughs> I guess you can see all the big guns laying on top of the counters. Uh, you know, as, as we're growing, we kind of can treat ourselves to some new toys and all that here and there. Uh, what's most notably recognized when people come in the store is the 50 BMG. This is the 82A1 from Barrett. Uh, that was like a dream gun of ours growing up, so it's pretty cool having one in the store, be able to play with every day. So yeah, a bunch of cool pictures get taken with customers, you know, coming in, <laughs> like family pictures with the 50 BMG. It's the, it's the funniest thing. So yeah, a bunch of cool stuff like that. And we got a, a lot of different guns that we kind of want to showcase on video. You know, uh, here's from Desert Tech. This is their HTI, you know, the DSR from Black Ops 2. I mean, yeah, that'd be something crazy to do a video on. So that, I mean, another gun from Black Ops 2, the FN Ballista, you know, <laughs> we like our Call of Duty guns, but yeah, I mean, we've got a 338 Lapua sitting here, all custom out. So, <clears throat> kind of want to know what would y'all like to see in future videos, because we're working with some cool stuff. I mean, we got the Barrett, got another 50 BMG 338 uh, right here, shy tac Intervention, M200, <laughs> I mean, MW2, Red Tiger Camo. We posted this on our socials, did pretty well. Uh, but we're kind of just trying to get a game plan together, see what kind of videos we could make. Uh, you know, the Shytac Intervention. Great, great accurate rifle. Gonna need some land to shoot out pretty far on, which we could get. Uh, so yeah, we plan on making some cool videos. Let us know what you want to see though, more than anything. And here you go. <laughs> M249 Saw. Yes, this is uh, it's another one of those dream guns that you'd like to hold in person, you know, so swing by the shop you can so that's the cool part about it we're not shy um we'd love for y'all to come in and just check out the the cool inventory we have you know and not to say that's all of our nice stuff we have some cool stuff on the, the shelves as well on the wall i mean we got a dd5 308 right here i uh, saw so a lot of daniel defense off the shelves and i mean they're 16 inch 308 that's a very hot seller for us so. got that scar 20 scar 16 so the 556 and the 308 we kind of put all our 308 battle rifles all here uh, I mean, moving on, we carry a lot of LWRC, uh, and that's another thing I wanted to mention. This right here, very special to us because we're the only people that sell this gun. Uh, we partnered with LWRC and Orion Training Group, which is right down the road with us. Uh, we collaborated and made our own rifle, the ICA 5556 OTG, and yeah, this was featured on a Grantham video actually, uh, doing room clearing exercises and everything with this. So it's a, it's a pretty cool rifle and they're all kind of up top on the shelves and all that. So that's another thing that grabs people's attention. It's like, why do you have so many of these? It's because it's ours. 
it's our first exclusive rifle. So, yeah, more Daniel Defense, more SIG. So, yeah, I'd like to say we got some cool inventory and plenty of ammo and all that. And like I said, we do a lot of custom work. A lot of gun stores say they're a custom AR shop, which I'm not saying they aren't. But we take it to the next level. I mean, we carried everything for each gun, you know, uh, accessories, grips, mags, stocks, all that. Uh, the foregrips, we got the emissary development handbrakes. That's our top seller when it comes to like uh, four end attachments on rifles. So the emiss emissary development handbrakes, uh, the Geisley triggers. The Geisley triggers, you have to have that in the store if you're doing custom ARs, you know. We do a lot with Rise Armament as well when people aren't trying to spend that 240 bucks on a Geisley trigger. They'd rather cut that in. 100 bucks and do a rise arm and rave in there so we got that the law tacticals bolt carrier groups galore you know gas blocks gas tubes and this isn't all we have we have a whole gunsmithing room full of parts and bins and stuff like that so radiant charging handles you know uh, can't live without those so. yeah I, I mean each salesman it, it's nice whenever they're trying to explain like what would you want on a custom gun you know and the customer's like i don't know that's what you're here to tell me so they're like well what i would do is i would grab a radiant charging handle and a Geisley trigger. I would definitely throw that in my custom AR because uh, it's just going to enhance the feel and everything and increase performance. So, uh, yeah. Let's move on to the gunsmithing room. This shot probably looks familiar. We filmed a lot of YouTube shorts in this window right here. <laughs> Those YouTube shorts are actually inspired by things that happen. Yeah, they might be a little dramatic, you know, and uh, taken to the next level, but they're all inspired from things that happen. Uh, people pulling guns out in the gun store, it happens, you know. Um, people bringing us parts, asking them to build an AR or an AK that has nothing to do with the parts that they brought us. It's uh, it's pretty <laughs> comical, but it happens quite a bit. Uh, but the reason I'm bringing you in here is to show you I have a full gunsmith and setup. We got four vices, well, three vices. I think I broke one of them. But yeah, we got three vices and, and all the parts and tools that you would need to build an AR-15. Uh, and all these boxes down here, these are just ongoing projects for customers. We're doing custom builds for them right now. Um, bunch of cool stuff you know the way we keep it managed and organized is we have sheets that go over what's being done to the rifles uh, or the pistols whatever's going on uh, so when another salesman comes in here and sees one of the sheets on the bin they go oh okay so this is the status of this project this needs to be done so if they want to lend a helping hand say yeah I'll throw that gas tube on there for you no problem they'll mark it off on the sheet and say yep now we're on the next step whenever it's finished call the customer they come pick up their custom rifle and they're done it's it's pretty cool uh, in the safe I'll show you Okay, in the safe, for example, you know, this is an example of a custom build we've done. This is the uh, SLR E15 receiver set, you know. This is uh, one that we've done quite a bit. A lot of our customers like this setup, uh, which I don't blame them. It's all billet, it's got a custom Cerakote on it. Law tactical folding adapter. You know, Surefire Pro Light, or Scout Light, and the EOTech on a Unity, Unity riser. Uh, this is just, all the colors are matching. That with a tan RC2 on the end of it. I mean, RC3. or an RC3 coming soon. Uh, tan coming soon. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's just cool stuff like this. This is the best part of the job. Sitting down with a customer, getting a game plan together of something custom that they want, you know? And, you know, time's on our side. They're not rushing to get something finished because they want it done properly. I'm not saying we're going to take a while to do it, but, you know, it's those projects that are meticulous and they're, they're gratifying at the end of the day whenever you get something built like this, you know? Uh, so yeah, favorite part of the job, definitely. <laughs> and these bins right here, uh, we realized we needed all of these organized bins for just parts, uh, cause not working with the most space on the retail floor. So when it comes to gas blocks, like I know I have 625 gas blocks, I got 750, 825. Sometimes people need them, you know, it's not something we sell all the time, but it's nice knowing that we have it, you know? Uh, gas tubes, we have every gas tube we need, buffer, you know, we got castle nuts, end plates, you know, buffer springs, buffer weights, and then all the other parts that you need, you know? Uh, it's it's something nice to have just lying around. Uh, even these right here, these are all SKUs that Glock sells for their parts, for their uppers and their lowers. So uh, when somebody needs, you know, let's see, trigger housing for that, 00322. I'll just come here and I look, okay, SP00322. Boom, you know, it's a... Uh, you can only <laughs> you can only stay unorganized for so long. So to get organized, that's how you be more efficient. And uh, I think it's definitely benefited our company. You know, being able to help people in that certain way. Not saying, yeah, I can order you that Glock part. I have it sitting right here, which uh, definitely helps us grow. So we also offer a bunch of different gunsmithing services too. Uh, so we do Cerakote now. Uh, 
we offer pin and weld services as well. So if somebody has a 14.5, they want the 16 inch overall, we could do that 13.7, 13.9, we can offer that service. Uh, barrel threading, we're starting to do that a lot more, especially because the hunting season is upon us and has been upon us. Uh, we do a lot of barrel threading because we sell a lot of suppressors. Uh, if you come take a look in this safe right here, we do a lot with the NFA process. So, I mean, if you take a look in the safe, that's all suppressors people are waiting to pick up right now. So those are ongoing form fours up waiting for approval. Uh, you know, for our size, you wouldn't expect us to sell so many suppressors, but we do. Uh, and I think that's because we make the process so easy. So we'll go into the next uh, room and be able to show you all that. So I'm moving in from the sales retail floor. This is our salesman room right here. Uh, if you do a quick spin, you'll see we have four desks. It's a four man battle station. You know, uh, this is my desk individually right here. Um, but as you see, everybody has their own personal rifles kind of set up on the walls around them. Um, it's pretty cool. I mean, yeah, they're gaming computers. I know you're gonna say it. Uh, we love Call of Duty here, but um, they're great rigs to be able to handle all of our processes and uh, softwares that we need to be able to run, um, which it's it's pretty beneficial for the uh, the salesman. So, being how we have this set up, it's really nice because I can sit a customer down right here and handle all the background check process at my desk. You know, a customer doesn't want to be st stood up at a counter for who knows an hour <laughs> waiting for the whole process to be done. We can sit down and get comfortable and facilitate the uh, 4473, the background check process. Have them on hand, set it down in front of the customer, take their ID, scan a copy, and just walk them through the whole process. Cause this can be intimidating for people. Uh, so yeah, I like the way we have it set up. It's like a car salesman kind of situation, but I'm not a pushy car salesman. Uh, I'm not begging you to buy a gun from me. So yeah, I love the way we have this set up. Um, Got a fingerprint machine at my desk. So that helps with the NFA process. You know, we're not partnered with Silencer Shop. We have our own system engineered, uh, which makes buying a suppressor a lot easier. Uh, Cause each salesman here is trained on how to sell a suppressor uh, and how to do the paperwork on it. Uh, so, I mean, do the fingerprints at the desk, take your picture with our iPhone and then we facilitate the whole thing. So all the customer has to do is sit down right here, say yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. And we do the whole process for them. And it'll maybe take 15, 20 minutes to do a form four, which is pretty impressive. You know, I do appreciate the silencer shop kiosk, but I feel like it's putting even too much work on the customer buying it. Uh, I love that we do the whole thing for them, you know? Uh, so that being said, uh, on the NFA process, we sell more suppressors than anybody in the state of Louisiana. Um, and to get to this point wasn't easy. You know, it, it took months and months of training for each salesman individually to become savvy on how to do the process. But once everybody did become savvy, we're knocking them out like crazy. Uh, and we're able to actually move quite a bit of NFA items. Because I'm a big advocate for suppressors, machine guns, short barreled rifles, uh, I like being able to sell it to customers and be able to educate them on what they're buying. So yeah. How many cans do you have? Um, one, two, like three, four, uh, too many. Don't tell my wife. How many tax stamps? Let's see, zero. I don't pay them. <laughs> Salesman has their own individual desk with all the. What is that? Is that. Uh oh. Uh, so, yeah, we got four salesmen in here that are pretty trained on how to do whatever needs to be done in the sales floor, uh, selling guns and NFA and all that, gunsmithing. Uh, and then we got two, three guys in the back that, you know, facilitate the incoming and outgoing items, packages that need to be shipped out or logged in. We have a lot of freedom to change how this job works if we need to, to, to change the processes to more effectively sell firearms, uh, effectively uh, help our customers. But yeah, it, it's a fun place to work. Uh, I sure do like it, I've been here, what well, it feels like 10 years now, but. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I encourage you, if you're ever in the Baton Rouge area, if you're ever in Louisiana, please take a drive out. You're not gonna run across a gun store like this. It's, it's very unique. It's a very youthful environment, but we're pretty knowledgeable for the age that we're at and uh, the experience we have. Uh, veteran ran and own, you know, um, not myself, but a lot of employees are. And you're really gonna like the environment. So if you get the chance, come swing by. And I wanna thank you again for watching and viewing all of our content. Uh, the social media has really driven our um, I mean, our inventory has expanded just because of the viewership we've been getting and uh, our customers viewing our uh, content. It's getting a lot of publicity and it's helping our, uh, our revenue come in for the store. So that's why we get to make these cool videos. That's why we get to buy the Barrett's and the FN Ballistas. 
So I wanted to thank you. Um, you know, Louisiana Farms is a great place to work, and we'd encourage you to come stop by if you get the chance. Thank you.